For those who are deaf or have hearing impairments, closed captioning is very important. We are going to look mainly at what YouTube offers for closed captioning, since that's the platform that most of us are posting our online worship services to. So here I am in the back end of uh, one of our videos from our brass course. And let's say I wanted to add automatic captions here. Okay, so I can go to subtitles. And I first need to set the language that I want the captions to be in. All right, and you can see right here, we've generated automatic video subtitles that have been published to the video. So I want you to go ahead and click on options and edit on Classic Studio. And if you look right here, I'm just gonna pause this video and select edit. You can see here that they have auto-generated all the captions that we need for our video. The problem as you can see here is that there is no sentence structure, no capitals, and sometimes you do have to check the spelling. So all you do then is select in each box and as we have learned, comma, time signature, set the rules for beats per bar, and so on. And you just tidy up the options from there and then select publish edits. That's probably the easiest way to add your subtitles. At least that's the way I find most effective. Let's just take a second and look at a second option available to you. Let's just again go to subtitles here. So you can see that we have our, uh, the video language is listed as English, which is what we're looking for. And over under subtitles here, we can select add. Uh, there are a number of options, but the one that we're going to uh, look at is transcribe and auto sync. So if we just select this and we hit play on our video, we will transcribe what we hear spoken. The video will pause while we're typing. Easier than you might think since we have The video pauses as I type. Learn. One of the benefits of this is that you can fix your sentence structure, capitals, and so on as you go. And then if you just select timings, it'll take the whole transcript that you've written and uh, set it to match your video. Again, I prefer the first option where they're auto-generated and then I just have to fix and tidy. But if you prefer to transcribe the whole thing, that's an option for you as well. We hope these videos have been helpful as you try and ensure accessibility in your online worship services. If you have any specific questions, please reach out to us in the Music and Gospel Arts Department.